Salutations friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would do a little fun video where I talk to you about the current five fragrances I've been reaching for so frequently this springtime. Um, and so they're going to be my five grab and go springtime fragrances. I've already done a brightest spring favorites um, video where I share my really bright citrusy and fresh fragrances. I've done a grab and go um, fragrance video, but I figured I'd share with you guys the ones I've been kind of grabbing um, and really reaching for the past like month or two in the springtime. If you guys want to know what I picked and why, then keep watching. Now two of these are newer to my collection, so one of them I've been reaching for the past like week and a half, two weeks since I've purchased it. The other one I had so many samples of and once I used through all the samples, I picked it up because I knew I was going to be reaching for it more and more. So I've already worn it a bunch, but it's a newer bottle to my collection. The other ones have been with me for a little bit, a few months, some of them longer than that. Um, I'm going to start off with the newest one to my collection, which is uh, Machino Fresh. Um, this one is the one that I used through so many samples. I had like five little sample vials of it, and I kept throwing them in my bag and wearing them throughout the day, and it was just perfect for when it was really humid and really bright and slightly Florida spring, which is not as humid and wet as summertime, but still very hot. And this was just a beautiful fragrance because it just made me feel really pretty. It just made me feel like very feminine and it was just perfect for the heat and humidity and the weather for where I live. It's not the most inspiring fragrance. In fact, the bottle is a lot more unique than the actual juice inside. But overall, this was a perfect and is a perfect fragrance to wear this spring and I've been reaching for it quite a bit now that I finally got a Next bottle. Next up is one of the only fragrances from Jo Malone I can wear and it's Wild Bluebell. You guys will see this one on my channel a lot because this is generally just one of my favorite fragrances ever. Um, I love the way this smells. Um, it's so beautiful, it's so fresh. The Bluebell, it's a little tiny bit musky, just a touch. This is perfect for daytime fragrance, um, as a daytime fragrance. It just sits on my skin beautifully. It smells amazing. It smells floral and springy and just bright, but at the same time, there's just something really sophisticated about this fragrance. Um, I got a small bottle of it because if you guys don't know, I talk about it on my channel quite frequently. Jo Malone is one of those brands where there's something in their formula where the juice turns sour on my skin after about an hour. I love Jo Malone fragrances. I wish they worked on my skin. They just don't. There's just something about the formula. There's nothing wrong with Jo Malone. I really like them. So whenever I find a fragrance that as a sample works on my skin, I get kind of obsessed with it and Wild Bluebell um, is one of those fragrances that doesn't turn sour on my skin. It sits really nicely on my skin and it's perfect for spring. And this is a perfect grab and go fragrance and I love it. Next up is probably one that you will see me talk about a lot. Um, and this is Pomelo Paradise from Atelier Cologne. Now originally I got this to layer, but I've just been wearing this on its own and it's just been really, really nice. I really like to layer this with Pampaloon from Guerlain, which is one of their Aqua Allegoria lines, which is a gorgeous grapefruit fra um, flavor fragrance. Um, and mixed with the pomelo, it just kind of juices it up and sweetens it up a little bit. It's been one of my favorite layering combinations ever. Um, but just sometimes like if I'm going out and running errands or, you know, if I'm going to go to Home Depot to get supplies or if I'm going to the grocery store um, and I just want to smell nice, I'll just literally grab this and spritz this and then the entire time I'm out I'm like, oh, I smell nice. I like the way I smell. I feel bright and pretty and not sweaty and gross and this has just been absolutely perfect for one of my grab and go fragrances. So I'm definitely, when I'm out of this little guy, going to get the giant bottle of it because I think this is fantastic. Um, and I have also been layering it with my other Atelier Cologne Clementine California, which is amazing and almost made this list, but actually I've been reaching for Pomelo Paradise as a grab and go um, more frequently. It's a grab and go video. 
Uh, the next up is one that I've just been enjoying wearing when I've been hanging out with my husband because this is a fragrance that he actually really likes. Um, and it's Roses de Chloe from Chloe. This is such a beautiful feminine fragrance. It's a beautiful kind of garden, very romantic rose, but there's something very sweet and light and refreshing about it. It's really, really nice. It's perfect for springtime. Um, not so much because of the floral and the rose, but just how it sits on the skin. It's very pretty, it's very light, but it still has wonderful longevity, and my husband really enjoys this fragrance a lot. As you guys know, my husband doesn't like fragrances, he hates fragrances. So whenever he likes something, I get really excited for it. So since we've been spending a lot of time together, just because we've had some downtime since work's been kind of slow, um, we go out, we'll go to a museum, we'll go out and hang out with friends, we'll just kind of go out and like go to the mall and like just walk around the mall because it's air conditioned <laughs> and not home. Like we won't spend money, we'll just kind of like walk and talk for a few hours and so I'll always spritz on a ton of this. I'll practically shower in it, um, which is really, really nice. So I've been enjoying this very much and so has my husband and it's just been perfect for the weather and this time of year. Last is a newer one to my collection, but I've had samples of it and I've tried it and you guys talked about it. And this is more of my grab and go evening fragrance. Um, it's been perfect because in the, my area, it's still very hot and humid at night. It can still be 70 and 80 degrees with humidity. It's just dark. Um, so I still like something a little bit lighter and fresher, but I kind of like in the evening something a little bit heavier, a little bit more sexy and sensual, even if I'm just sitting at home in my pajamas eating macaroni and cheese. Like, I'm such a homebody, but I still like to feel sexy in my pajamas watching Stargate. <laughs> eating macaroni and cheese. Um, and it's been this one, uh, my Burberry Black. This one is so amazing, you guys. I love it. If you have the chance to go out and try this fragrance, do. It's practically perfect for this weather. It's a beautiful, sensual, sexy evening scent, but it's still flirty and youthful. And at the same time, like for the weather, it sits heavy on the skin, but also really light. So in the heat, this is a heavy, sexy, sensual fragrance that doesn't like stifle or cough or feel uncomfortable when you wear it. And you guys know like if you're in the heat and you're wearing a very heavy fragrance, you feel a little uncomfortable. You're like, this is too heavy. I wish I wore something lighter. But you still wanted to go for like the sexy, syrupy, sensual fragrance. This has been perfect because it sits lights on the skin. There's something really bright and sweet and light about it, but it's still a very sexy, dark fragrance. I absolutely love this one so much, and I love the bottle, and I got a big old bottle of it because I know I'm going to wear through this a lot this summer, but this has been one of my favorite grab-and-go fragrances for the evening this spring. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I could have easily done a top 10 or top 15 for my favorite grab-and-go fragrances this spring, but I decided to try and whittle it down and give you a list of the ones that have really just been doing it for me. Um, the Machina one has just been like the definitive grab-and-go. Don't even think about it, just put it on. The Jo Malone's definitely a little bit more sophisticated, um, and especially if I feel like smelling a little bit unique and a little bit more elegant than just the Machino Fresh Couture. The Pomelo Paradise has been a no-brainer. Um, and then I have my favorite one I like to wear with my husband and my favorite evening. So I tried to kind of whittle it down to five. But if you guys have any of your favorite springtime grab-and-go fragrances, fragrances you don't even think about, you know, you can wear them anywhere, anytime this spring and you will smell amazing, I would love to know your recommendations, so let me know below. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to give this a thumbs up. It lets me know to continue doing videos like this. And also, don't forget to subscribe, because it's free and I'm free, and I put out new videos every Monday through Friday, sometimes on the weekends as well, so I'll always have something for you to watch. In any case, I hope you guys are all happy and healthy, and have a great day, month, year, whatever, and I'll see you next time!